Is this thing up and running? Okay, I think it is. This It's not showing me, but I'm just going to assume it's running. Okay, guys. So let's go to a chart, right? I'm just going to go on anyone. doesn't really matter. Let's just go on this one. Fine. Okay, so let's just imagine we went to, or I went to build this warehouse, and I bought your toolbox, right? Let's call it the Don's Us FX Toolbox. Yeah, I'm giving it that name. Don's Loves FX Toolbox. It's a toolbox from me and I'm giving it to you and I'm saying, listen, this is what is in this box that you could use to get involved in markets, right? Or it's something that you can. You don't have to use it completely because some of you guys might have your own things. Some of you guys might not have anything at all. And for you that doesn't have anything at all, this is for you, okay? What's in this toolbox is a sentiment viewer. And this is from the mintfx.com website. The second thing in this box is the Mint FX structure indicator. Hopefully I spelled that right, but anyway. The third thing that's in this box is a reaccumulation and a redistribution phase or model. Both of them are the same things. One is bullish and one is bearish. The reaccumulation is the bullish one, the redistribution one is the bearish one. So those are four tools I've just listed right there. And then the other two are S&D or supply and demand zones and multi time frame analysis. So these are all the tools that are in this box and I'm giving it to you. Yay. You know, happy new year for me. These are all six of these tools right here. You know, sentiment viewer, mint effect structure indicator, reaccumulation and redistribution and supply and demand zones and multi time frame analysis. So this are some of the tools that I'm giving you right now. Right. Boom. OK, cool. So the first set of tools, right? The first set of tools, I'm just going to put a number here and I'm not going to write the whole thing again. I'm just going to put it as acronyms or whatever because you guys are listening to me. So the first set of tools is the Mint FX Structure Indicator, right? This is what is in the first set of tools, the reaccumulation and redistribution models or phases right this helps you find structure so cool structure right the second set of tools is looking for supply and demand zones and that is helping you see where money is getting involved it's helping you find ways that okay you already know that money is getting involved right now this right all of this that i've just listed right here all of this number one and number two on its own is not enough this is why I would introduce a third set of tools and I would list it on its own. And this is the sentiment viewer from MintFX and using multi time frame analysis. With this combined, with this, you will gauge context and you can gauge structure within this context because structure on its own means nothing. You could have a supply or demand zone. You could have a reaccumulation or redistribution model. In fact, you probably wouldn't even know what that is if you do not have the context for what that market is doing. So you won't even know whether if a market is in a reaccumulation stage or in a redistribution state in a redistribution state if you do not have context or a bias or a sentiment of what is actually going on with a certain market that you're looking at. So those are the tools, right? And a couple of things that I also wanted to say as well is let me turn off this thing because this thing's in usage right now. So, boom. A couple of things that I wanted to mention as well is, I've mentioned this before, higher time frame analysis, right? Every single thing that you do with the reaccumulation, redistribution, and the supply and demand zones, you would look at it on a higher time frame. Normally, it's a 30 minutes for me. For some people, it's different. But I use a 30 minutes to gauge context, and then I use the one minute to place entries. And then the four minutes or the five minutes on trading view, but the four minutes is on MetaTrader, where that's the platform that I actually execute trades on. The four minute time frame on MetaTrader is where I would look for supply and demand zones. You can look for supply and demand zones on any time frame, but the supply and demand zones, I would look on it, I'll look for it on the fourth or the four or the four minute time frame because you would use that time frame to validate or invalidate that. And that's exactly the most important thing that I want to say about all these tools I've just mentioned right here. I circled that horribly. 
all the tools that I've just mentioned right there, the most powerful thing about all of these things is letting price action play out and validate or invalidate what you've just done. Because what's going to happen, and you won't even realize that, because you're going to be waiting hours, days, maybe even a week for a trade, and you're going to be like, oh, Duns, your toolbox does not work. What is happening or what has happened if you've let it play out and validate what you've looked for, which in this case is these tools that I've given you. And if it's validating that, go ahead, you know, go on that low time frame or that time frame of entry and find some trades, you know, find that criteria that I spoke about. I think I made a video about it on this channel. But if it invalidates, what is going to happen is that it's going to keep you out of shit price action that you don't want to be getting involved in. And you don't want to be in that price action because you don't want to be involved in something that you don't know what's going on. At least if you know what's going on when you are using these tools, you can make trades based on informed decisions. In fact, that's exactly what I want you guys to do. In fact, that's exactly what every trader should be doing anyway. But most traders don't. They tend to look for everything and they tend to look for it on every single time frame, on any way. And what happens again and again and again, I say this a lot, you will get random results because it exists on every single time frame, on any single market, on any single trading session, on any single type of price action, on any single time frame. It exists everywhere. Whatever you're looking for, it's everywhere. The point that I'm trying to say to you is that the most important thing is to gauge context. The third tool is probably important because you could find all of this or one and two, right? You know, use the MentFX structure indicator, which are these black lines right here. You know about it right now. If you've watched this channel, you should know what these stuff are right now. This is not new stuff that I'm talking about. But sentiment viewer and using multiple time frames to see if you're seeing the same thing on your bigger time frame on different time frames. That is a powerful thing to correlate and to find a way to agree with that sentiment viewer over there. And that's the one thing that I want you guys to do. And you're going to find that you're going to be end up taking trades only 10% of the time and 90% of the price action you won't even be touching. Anyway, this is the toolbox and that's exactly what's in these tools. I will probably explain more about how these tools actually work later on, but that is just what these tools are and these are something that you these are tools that you could use yourself and i've mentioned these tools so many times if you actually watched what I've, I've i've said over here this is generally how i get involved in markets obviously not clear cut because it depends on context there's different things for different markets in different contexts you know money moves in, in and out of markets at different times right and it took me over two years to realize that but over three four months i've been trading that way and i've seen a positive increase in terms of my equity on my account i'm not i've not made millions yet i'm not bought a, a, a lamborghini yet don't worry it's coming no i'm joking but anyway these are the tools that you could use and go ahead you can get involved in the markets with them cheers guys